up everyone so welcome back we're here doing the pentridge revolution adventure labs so we're going to get straight into it and i'm going to explain to you a little about what happened so in 1817 there was an armed uprising that began around the village of pentridge in derbyshire it occurred on the night of the 9th and 10th of june 1817 while much of the planning took place in pentridge Two of the three ringleaders were from South Wingfield and the other was from a town called Sutton in Ashfield. The revolution itself started from Hunt's Barn in South Wingfield and the only person killed died in Wingfield Park. A gathering of two to three hundred men, stockingers, quarrymen and ironworkers, led by Jeremiah Branreth, the Nottingham captain and unemployed stockinger set out from South Wingfield to march to Nottingham. They were lightly armed with pikes and a few guns which had been hidden in the quarry in Wingfield Park and had a set of rather unfocused revolutionary demands including wiping out the national debt. However among them William J Oliver was a government spy and the uprising was quashed soon after it began. Three men were hanged and beheaded at Derby for their participation in the uprising. They were Jeremiah Branreth, Isaac Ludman and William Turner. So we're going to have a walk around the village and show you where they lived. Oh, most of the houses, if not all of them, were actually knocked down and demolished um, as retribution for what they had done. So I hope you enjoy it everyone. It's just a short one and we'll have a quick walk around and look at the properties. So here we are at the bottom of the steps um, and we're doing an adventure lab here. And this church is where the curate hid the rebels from the government troops when they were looking for them. So this is the church at Pentrick. Okay, so here there used to be a pub called the White Horse Inn. And it's where meetings took place to plan the rebellion. The pub and most of the insurgents' dwellings that lived here were demolished in retribution. We will continue the Pentrick Revolution. Now everybody, we've come to the village hall. Now formerly, on this spot, was the home of one of the ringleaders, Thomas Bacon. His house was demolished as retribution. And then just across the road from this was the home of James Shipman, who gave evidence for the prosecution at the trial in Derby. Which is that spot right there. Who gave evidence for the prosecution at the trial in Derby? Now go to the defibrillator on the village hall for your question. <laughs> Answer. On the RHS at the village hall is a defibrillator serial number CHT dash. Got by four digits. Nine one zero oh, seven. Correct. Well done. Last one then is basically down back lane. Yeah. Yeah. Land Rover there. You can see it in the distance. A nice old retro Land Rover. Yeah, a very small village, but with a very good past about an uprising. So that's four adventure labs done, really quickly. Now we've just spotted this as we're walking around, there's a little old Morris. Oh, there's a man down there. Wow, what a spot. What a spot. Hey everyone, so the final one now, which is Asherfield's farm. The plaque here marks the site of Asherfield's barn. Don't see no plaque. And now we come to the final part. 
There's a plaque here that marks the site of the Asherfields Barn, where the march to Nottingham was planned. So as the men marched to Nottingham, they were caught at Giltbrook by a small force of soldiers, 20 men from the 15th Regiment of the Light Dragoons. The revolutionaries scattered, and while about 40 were captured, the legions managed to escape. Altogether, 85 of the marchers were placed in Nottingham and Derby jails to be brought to trial at the County Hall in Derby, charged in the main of maliciously and traitorously endeavouring by force of arms to subvert and destroy the government and the constitution. And that was the last revolution in England. So I hope you enjoyed this one, everyone. We enjoyed doing this adventure labs, just a short one. And what I'm going to do, guys, at the, it, I'm going to share with you in the description a link to a folk band that did a song about the revolution. And I definitely recommend that you watch it. It's actually really, really good. Um, and obviously goes into the history a little bit of what happened. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.